Hello yogis, welcome into this hour of total body strength and energizer flow. So just take in your time, go through the poses. I will give you different options. Uh, so you don't have to take all of them. So it's uh, just up to you. Remember yoga, it's your journey, right? So it's a you do what you feel like I'm only giving you some tools and then you're able to use it as you wish. Um, just go with your breath and just um, relax, stay present, be in your body. Uh, we're going to start lying down uh, with a pillow. If you have, grab a pillow or just a uh, flat on your mat if you have the pillow it will help you just open up more your chest and let the energy flow into your chest into your art center so well get ready roll your mat have your water bottle head ready and enjoy the flow for the bow position with a cross legs A few breaths so this morning we're going to practice the breath through the shoulders so you're taking your hands around your knees inhaling lifting your shoulder up exhaling down you can go for 10 round of those Last breath, fully exhale all out. Just return to your natural breath. Now place your hands on your kneecap, just rotate in your shoulder, inwards and outwards. Now inhale, open your arms to the sky. Exhale, gently twist into your right. Inhaling, come into the center. Exhale, rotate into the left, into your twist. Inhale, rising your hands to the sky. Tilting your body to the right. And then in here. The gentle engage of your core. And then release your right hand on the floor. Open your left arm to the sky as you open your chest. In and lifting your right arm up. Tilting to the left. Engage your core. Exhale, releasing your hand, left hand on the mat, right above your head. Open your chest. Exhale, coming with your right, left hand up. As you're exhaling, leaning forward, landing your hands on the floor. If you need some space, just walking your hands a little bit further down. Exhale, bow down. And then coming into your tabletop position. I'm gonna go for five rounds of cat and cow. So stretch the spine. Starting to move in, observing vertebra by vertebra. Two more. You can stay in one pose a little bit longer. Now 
Then inhale, come into the tabletop position, lifting your right hand up, followed by the left leg up. So align your hips, pushing your ribs in, engage your core. Exhale, bending your knee, sending your hand to your ankle, lifting the leg up. Exhale, releasing down and then lengthening again, the same side. As you exhale, bending your elbow, bending your knee, crunching your elbow to your knee. And we do for three more. Stay with your breath. And last one. Releasing down to your mat. Inhale, lifting the left leg, arm, right leg up. Square your hips. Keep your balance, hold your core. Exhale, bending the knee, sending your hand to your ankle. Exhale, lengthening the same side and then crunching elbow to knee. Two more. And last one, releasing down to the mat. Now walking your hands to the top of your mat, keep your legs 90 degrees but then you're pushing your buttocks to the sky as you're pushing your chest down to the mat. You can land your forehead on the mat, your nose, or perhaps your chin. Hold here for two more breaths. Exhale, coming up, bringing your hands down to your shoulders, tucking your toes under and lifting, go into your down facing dog. Walking into your dog. Now bending your right knee, keep your left leg straight, half stretch. Exhale, swapping the leg, bend in the left, right, calf stretch. And then exhale, bringing your feet down to your down facing dog. Now bend in your knee, but don't touch the floor. Hold into your core. Now exhale and extending your right leg out. Hold your core. Now bringing your knee in, extending your left leg out. Holding your core. Exhale, knee in. Go into your down facing dog. Walking into your dog. And inhale, lifting your right leg up. Three legged dog, and then open your hips, back in your hips. As you say, tilt in your dog. Now, from your reverse dog, you bring in your right foot next to your left. We could go into the side plank. <laughs> Exhale, land in your 
arm down, come into your plank. Then bend in your knee, very slowly we bend in the elbow and we go down into our chaturanga. And then arm fold into your cobra. Exhale, go into your down facing dog. Inhale, lifting your left leg up, bending your knee, scorpion tail. Open your hips. Exhale, tilting your dog. And then bring your leg on the top of your right for the side plank, opening your left arm to the sky. Exhale, landing into your plank, hold here. Breathe in, engage your core. Exhale, bending your knee. Very slowly bending your elbow as you land in down, so tucking your elbow in. In a hop into the cobra. Exhale, bow down and lifting your body, push up, up and go into your down facing dog. One more breath into the down facing dog. In and lifting your right leg up. Bend in the knee, scorpion tail. Exhale, tilt in your dog. From your dog, bring in your right leg on the top of your left side plank. Exhale, landing into your plank, holding for two breaths. Bend in your knee and then releasing down to your chaturanga as you bend in your elbow very slowly and then unfold into your cobra. <laughs> Exhale, bow down, tucking your feet under and do a push up and down facing dog. Inhale, lifting your left leg up, bending your knee, scorpion tail. Exhale, tilt in your dog. From here, bring in your left leg on the top and come into the side plank. Exhale, into your plank. Hold for three breaths. Tuck your ribs in, engage your core. One more breath. Now option to keep your legs up and just bend in your elbow very slowly into your chaturanga. Push up into your cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. One more breath into your down facing dog. Now inhale, either step or jump at the front of your mat. If you jump in place, your feet together, bend in your knee, look between your hands and jump. Coming into your half of a bend, pulling your belly button in. 
Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, rising up very slowly, rolling vertebra after vertebra, and then rising your arms to the sky. As you exhale, a gentle back bend. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Now either step or jump at the back of your mat. We hold the plank. Perhaps we can hold and lifting one leg up. Now release and swap in the leg. Come into your plank. Now you can keep the legs up. Option to bend in your elbow into your chaturanga and then push up into your half facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Now exhale, bend in your knee, land in your, into your child pose. You can keep your fingers active. Two breaths. Inhaling, coming into your down facing dog. Now we lower in our forearm into the mat, keeping the legs into the down facing dog. It's gonna be more strong into our shoulder. Now from here, see if you can lift your right leg up Hold there. Exhale, lowering your right leg down, lifting your left leg up. Exhale. Landing the both feet on the mat. Hold this pose for one more breath. Now in a, try to lift in the elbow up and go into your down facing dog. Now we repeat once again, landing into your forearm. Hold the pose. In a lift in the right leg up. Exhale, left leg down. In a lift in the left leg up. Exhale, down. Hold. And then pushing your elbows one after the, the other and go into your down facing dog. Exhale, bending your knee, go into your child pose, sending your leg, your arms at the back, landing on your sit bone. Relaxing your shoulder for one breath. And then inhaling, coming into your down facing dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg up. And then bending your knee towards your nose. Hold here. Engage your core. Exhale, sending your right leg up to the sky, extending the leg up. And we we'll repeat, bending your knee towards your chest. Hold there. Exhale, sending your right leg up to the sky as you're extending and then lowering your leg together. We're going into the side plank. So rotating your feet. So you're rotating into your right as we start to work on the right and the left arm come up into the side plank. Now from the side plank, 
helping yourself with stacking your left leg, bending your right knee down to the mat, and we open up again. Now from here, you're making sure that your arm is aligned with your shoulder. So shoulder, elbow, and wrist should be aligned. And then your left foot gets stuck into the mat and try to lift your right leg up. Exhale, gently releasing your knee down. Now you're gonna send, you rotate into your right knee. So your foot goes at the back. And you open up your left arm, sending diagonally at the back, like you wanna reach that foot. That's a nice side stretch. Now releasing your hands down, picking your feet and go into your down facing dog. Go for your vinyasa. So you can land into your plank and hold here. And then option to and bend in your elbow, push up into your up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. One more breath into the down facing dog. Calm in the mind, calm in the body. We're taking some breath. Inhale, lifting your left leg up. Bend in your knee, scorpion tail. And straightening the leg up to the sky, bending your knee towards your chest, hold in tiger pose. Then send your leg up to the sky, exhale. And bending your knee towards your chest, Hold here and send in your leg up to the sky. Last time, as exhaling, bend in your knee to the chest. Hold. And then bend, leg stand the leg out, landing into your down facing dog. Placing your feet together. And this time we rotate towards the left foot. And go into your side plank. Again, we're just making sure shoulder, elbow, and wrist are aligned. Bend in your left leg, your right leg, and extend in your right arm up. Now, as you're inhaling, try to lift that leg up. You need to make sure the alignment is there. You press into the foot and lifting the leg up. Now exhale, landing your knee down. As you rotating into your knee, sending your foot at the back and open your right arm into the side stretch. Come into the center and landing into your plank. Bending your elbow, go down very slowly into your chaturanga, push up into your up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Now either step or jump at the front of your mat. Come into your half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, gently back bending. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, full forward. Half forward bend. Exhale, either step or jump with the back of your mat. And go for your vinyasa. Bravo. 
ups up facing dog and we're meeting into the down facing dog two breaths into the down facing dog now from the down facing dog we land it into our forearm. We hold ear for the plank. So make sure the elbow are aligned with the shoulder. Engage your core. One more breath. Now bending your knee down, landing on your mat. Place your hands under your forehead, bending your knee and swing side to side. <laughs> Exhale, releasing your leg down, placing your hands under your armpit as you inhale, lifting your into your cobra. Hold there. Try not to hold your glutes. Rolling your shoulder at the back. One more breath. Tucking your elbow closer to your body. So you increase also your weight on your tricep, on your shoulder. Exhale, bow down. Now we inhale, we're gonna go for up or dog so you want to push into your feet pushing down towards your mat so inhaling coming into your cobra first and then lifting your knees off the floor hold for the half or dog exhale rolling into your feet and go for your down facing dog. Two more breaths into down facing dog. Now place your feet together, rolling into your right foot. We're gonna go into the side plank once again. Open your left arm to the sky. And then exhale, coming into your plank and we landing into our right side. Placing your right arm down to the mat, keep your legs straight. So placing your shoulder over your elbow and then as you nailing, you're lifting your hips. So there is hips lift, rolling your shoulder at the back. So you keep your alignment. So you're pushing the floor away with your forearm. So the hips rolling forward one more breath now exhale gently releasing down to the mat and go into your vinyasa so you're landing prone to the mat you can go into your cobra and your down facing dog now we change in the side Lowering into your plank, place your feet together, rolling into your left. One more breath. Perhaps you can open one leg up to increase or just stay there. Exhale, landing into your plank. And you land in your side body. If so your left leg land on the mat, Positioning your left arm, forearm, shoulder over the elbow. And then when you're ready, pushing, lifting your hips up. (sighs) 
One more breath. Exhale, gently releasing. Then bring your body down prone to the mat. Go into your cobra. Exhale, bow down. Go into your down facing dog. Exhale, child pose. Rest in here for three breaths. In a coming into your down facing dog. Landing into your plank. Try to lift your right arm off the floor. Skip in the plank. One more breath. Exhale, landing your arm down. Go into your down facing dog. Lifting your right leg up and step between your hands in front of your mat. Rising into your lounge. Perhaps you can sink in a little bit lower into your lounge. And then as you exhale, sink in your arms at the back, locking your fingers, rolling your shoulder, open your chest to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming into your lounge, sending your arms up. Now we're twisting. So we land in our right arm at the back. Your left arm come to the front and twist. Hold in the lounge. Perhaps you can land your right hand on your left leg. If you wish, and then you can lift your left arm above. Exhale, releasing. Come into your lounge and then open up into your warrior two. Soften your face. Placing a smile on your lips, absorbing the energy of the warrior. Pressing your warrior, follow your drishti, your hands in the sky. As you exhale, we land it into the side angle. Option to land your arm on your, on your leg. Or if you want to increase your core, Challenge yourself, then you lift both of your arm. Try to hold like a ball. You're holding something between your hands. Exhale, reversing your warrior. Straightening your front leg. And we're gonna go for the triangle, trikonasana. So lengthening your spine. When you get to your maximum, then you lower in your upper limbs. So very gentle. So your left hips push to the back. One more breath. Inhale, coming up. We try to reverse our triangle. The right arm come to the, the back, left arm lengthening first. So you lengthen your right, left arm to the front of the room, and then you land in your hand just outside your right foot. Now, with your right hand, you can keep it tucked at the back, or you can lift it up. Your option.
uh, in and gently coming up, rotating to your torso to landing into your warrior two. Exhale, reversing your warrior. And then go for your vinyasa, your style. If you wish to go into your down facing dog, that's also an option. And just walk just a little bit into your hips. Down facing dog. In a lift in your left leg up, step between your hands in front of your mat, rising into your lounge. As you exhale, perhaps you're sinking into your lounge. Bringing your hands at the back, locking your finger, rolling your shoulder, hoping your chest to the sky as you exhale, fold forward. In and coming up, releasing your hands into your lounge. And we land it into the twist. So your right arm come at the top, left at the back. Option to all this, or your left hand can land on your right hand, uh, leg. One more breath. Exhaling, rotating your torso and landing into your warrior two. Soften your face as you inhale, lifting your arm to your reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Option to extend both of your arm, holding a ball of energy. Reverse your warrior. And then straightening your front leg for your trikonasana. So lengthening your spine and then releasing your legs. So your right hip push to the, towards the back of the room. Inhaling, coming up. We go for the revolving triangle. So your right arm come to the front as you're twisting. So remember you're lengthening into the front first. And when you get to your maximum, then you're landing your hand outside your left foot. Now, whatever variation you took with the right arm, you can do the same. You can land at the back, on the hip, or just open up. Exhale, releasing very gently, coming up, rotating your torso for landing into your warrior two, and then go into your vinyasa. So you bring your hands into the floor. Any variation for your vinyasa. You can do a push up, or up facing dog, down facing dog. Exhale, bending your knee. And resting into your child pose. Relaxing your mind, relaxing your body. Inhaling, coming into your down facing dog, landing into your plank. 
This time lift in your left arm. Extending your left arm out. Landing into your plank. And try with your right arm up. Releasing your arm down. Go into your down facing dog. And then either step or jump at the front of your mat. Go for your half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. And then inhale, gently rising up. Exhale, back bending. Inhale, come to the center. Fold forward. And then either step or jump at the back. Go for your vinyasa. You can do a, um, a chaturanga, whatever option you prefer. Go for down facing dog. Exhale all out. Now walking your feet towards your hands. And then bend in your knee. You're gonna go for the crow pose, the arm balance. So here is the same alignment. So we need to hold wrist, elbow, and shoulder in the first place has to be aligned. Now we place our feet closer to our hands. And then we bend in our elbow. So we wanna try to Stack our knee on our tricep into the armpit. Then spread your fingers, just pressing into your mat. And then you start into lifting one foot at a time. So give it a try. So now the other trick for the arm balance is when you bend in your elbow, you're placing your knee into your tricep, then you basically you're leaning forward. So the point where you started to feel balance in terms of lifting of your feet off the floor, is when your wrist and elbow are aligned. So watch into your arms into this position and see if your knee are too, if your elbow are too bent inwards, that means is, is not aligned, means you're not gonna be able to do the arm balance. So you need to lean in forward in a way where you feel then you keep your legs together. So at that point, then there is not going to be too much weight into your wrist because the alignment, it will support into the shoulder as, as well. So it will be tricky. But that's what you want to reach. I'm just going to come placing your hands on your mat. Beautiful. And then place your hands, palms facing forward. And then just rotating your elbow and into the other side. Beautiful. So the crop pose, it takes time to do it. The importance is to keep practicing and try to understand the alignment that will help you to bring your body forward, leaning and not having the fear of falling, but also having your wrist and elbow aligned. So then your shoulder keep the weight so you're not gonna fall off. So it's all about practicing and we'll get there. Beautiful. So from this position, I would love to go through the camel it's a beautiful pose. So keep your legs um, closed, so slightly apart. Like, let me face you. So my knee are basically aligned with my hips. 
place your hands, finger facing the shoulder, just behind your knee, your kidneys. Then tuck your shoulder at the back, open your chest. And starting to gently drop in your head at the back. And you're feeling your pelvis wall leaning forward. Try to bring also the pelvis, like yes, leaning forward, but not losing that balance. You're starting to control. Now option here is to hold this pose or we can extend one arm at a time and try to reach to find your heels. You can land at the back of your heels. Now, once I've reached my heels, then I'm pushing on my lips forward. Just hold it down. Exhale, gently come out. So chin to chest first, then gently bending and go into your child pose. Beautiful. Now inhale, coming into your down facing dog. Just walk your feet to your hands. Now bend in your knee, bend in your elbow and swing side to side. No tension in your neck. Now release and coming up and roll your spine. I'm gonna finish off with our balance pose. So we can do a tree pose or a ballerina. We can also do the ballerina actually. Let's do the ballerina. So we can start with bending the right leg. So the knee has to be in line with the other knee. And then I'm using my hand as a tray to pick the inner part of my foot. Then focus into one point. You can extend your left arm to the sky and then lean in your body forward as you extend in your right leg to the back, forming an arch with your arm. Keep breathing. As it's ever releasing, beautiful. Now we go for the next leg. So bend in the left, picking the inner part of your foot, and then gently leaning forward. And gently coming back up, shaking your legs. Come to the top of your mat, open your arms to the sky, gently back bending, fold forward. And just hold here, our full forward bend. Now exhale, bend in your knee. We're gonna lie into our mat. Go for the Paschimottanasana. Extending your legs in front of you, sitting on your sit bones as you open your arms to the sky, gently fold forward. Three breaths. Ease in your breath. Inhale, coming up, bending your right leg, heels touching your hip in the groin, Janu Shirsasana, 
Open your arms to the sky. As you exhale, gently fold forward. Release the pose and we swap in the leg. Inhale, open your hands, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, coming up, releasing the pose. Bending both knees, we go for the butterfly. Wrapping your toes. I invite you to close your eyes. Concentrate on your sit bone, moving your awareness in your sit bone. Perhaps you're noticing the contact with the mat. Perhaps noticing the weight that you put in on each glute. One more breath into your butterfly. As you exhale, leaning forward. Inhale, coming up, and we lie into our mat. Lying on your mat, going for your bridge pose. Lifting your buttocks up. Hold here. Perhaps you can lock your hands under your back. If you want to challenge yourself, you can lift one leg up. Then swap in your leg. Releasing down and then release your buttocks on the floor, hugging your knees, swing side to side. Extending your legs out. You can keep, you can hold the pose. All right, then you're lifting your buttocks off the floor. Just go into your bridge pose. You can lock your fingers under your back. Exhale, releasing your buttocks on the floor, and then you're hugging your knees to your chest. Now from here, you want to extend your right leg down to the floor. Keep your left knee tucked. We're just holding tight into the, the leg. Now we do a stomach crunch. So we're lifting our head up, holding the leg. Now from here, we can literally pick up the leg, placing your knee into your elbow. And then with the opposite hand, we can try to wrap around level. Then from here, we're going to extend our leg up so we can wrap with your fingers and then extend the leg out.
And as you stay, you can open your legs sideways. You may bring your leg up. Now bend in your leg, and we're going for the reverse pigeon. Extend, release the leg down. So we hike into the right leg on the opposite leg. Hugging into the leg tight. And then lifting your head, go into your stomach crunch. And then we're picking the leg. So we're placing that knee into the inner part of our elbow. And perhaps we Rocking the foot with the opposite arm. Exhale, releasing your head on the floor, rocking with your finger, your big toes. Extend the leg out. As you extend, you open your leg on the side way. Landing very gentle. Inhale, bring your leg up, bending your knee. We go for the reverse pigeon. Exhale, bending your knee to your chest and swing side to side, massaging your back. Then we're massaging also up and down. So we're rolling up and down. Now laying your back on the mat. Go for your every baby. The final pose. Can stretch your leg out. When you feel ready, landing down. And today we can practice the Avashana. So we can stay prone on the mat. We can just prepare the Shavasana and the Shavasana. You do the abhashana, then we place the hand under the forehead. We just relax the hand. Taking a big breath in, wherever you are. As you extend, open your mouth, let it out. Once again, big breath in. Exhale all out. Thank you. 
And starting to deepen your breath. And then gently when you feel ready, fold your body into one side. Gently reconnecting the room around you. And when you feel ready, pushing yourself into a sitting comfortable position with the cross legs. Moment to observe your body. How is it feeling now comparing to the start of the class? You're here just to observe, not to judge anything. Just observing and whatever it comes, just acknowledge that. Placing your hands into your heart center. Thanking yourself for taking the time to come down to your mat. Nourishing your body, rising your vibration. And together, we're chanting one arm, closing this practice. As inhale, lifting your chest up. Oh. Your hands into your forehead center. And as you say, bow down into each other, we say namaste.